Hello everyone, Emerald here, and guys, welcome back to another video, and guys, today I'm going to be starting a little playthrough of Spongebob Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottom, the old one, the PS2 version of it. Now, I, forewarning, I am playing this on a computer, I am not using a capture card to capture this footage from a PlayStation, I am running a computer emulator for this, um, but I figured that's going to be the easier one to do. I need to make sure I actually have the memory card loaded. Uh, yes I do. So anyway, guys, we're just going to be starting a new game here. Save game. It's, uh, this one. Anyways, yeah, I was playing the game a little bit to get back into it. So I'm going to not talk. Welcome to Bikini Bottom, a normally peaceful undersea sanctuary. Today it will be transformed into a theater of pure horror, wherein our little yellow friend will play the starring role. Today is the big day. I have devised an ingenious plan to finally steal the Krabby Patty formula. And if Bikini Bottom happens to get demolished in the process, oh well. <laughs> With my brand new Duplicatotron 3000, I'll clone an army of robots that will wreak mayhem and destruction at my command. One last review of the checklist. Let's see. Item number one. Is Plankton a genius? Answer, yes! Okay, checklist complete. Throw in the switch! <laughs> Welcome, my perfectly obedient robot army! Hang on! I want to get a photo for my scrap... Whoa. Hey, hello? What do you think you're doing? Oh, no, 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 wait! Wait! But I'm your master! I made you! No! No! Oh, my good China! Another perfect day playing robots and racehorses. Yeah, only I keep getting the racehorses and the robots mixed up. Wouldn't it be great if we had real robots to play with, Patrick? I'd name mine Robo Jr. or Zorlon or maybe Frankie. Yeah, these unreal robots are getting boring. Hey, what if we put the robots in here? Oh, how shellfish of you. <laughs> it's not just any shell. It's my magic wishing shell. Wow, that's great, Patrick. So we put the toy robots in here. Okay. And we say the magic wishing words and shake the magic wishing shell. Okay. Then we go to sleep, and in the morning, we'll have real robots to play with. But, Patrick, aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You already did. So, okay is the magic wishing word? It used to be Alakazama Alabala Wiesna Tikitana Fushbar Griddle Bits Von Wiedeschnasser, but I kept forgetting it. Are you sure this'll work? Sure. Last week, I only had one big cookie crumb and I was really hungry. Ah, so I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell, then I said the magic wishing word and shook it, and in the morning, I had lots of little cookie crumbs. Patrick, I proclaim that tomorrow is going to be the best day ever. Good night, SpongeBob. Good night, Patrick. The next morning. <laughs> gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with. Wow! Uh, Gary, did you do that? Yeah, Gary. It sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. I think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. Okay, before we go any further, I'm just gonna let you guys know, I'm gonna try and play this as a casual thing, and I'm going to try and beat the game to 100%, which is all 100 spatulas in the game, all socks being collected, all, yeah, all spatulas, basically. Um, 
<clears throat> I'm not going to talk over the um, cutscenes at all. I'm going to try not to, and I do apologize for this weird thing I've got going on with the um, framing of this video. I've, I'll fix that in the next one. I think it's because I have the stuff set up cr incorrectly in... It's because I have stuff set up incorrectly in OBS. Um, let me see if I can fix that real fast. So I've now got it running in, yeah, okay, there we go. Because now I've got it running in full screen. Okay. Meow. What a fantastic idea! These signs will provide important tips to help me out! Um, how do I read the signs? And, um, a little forewarning, I did, I've played this game a lot, and when I was younger, especially. I kind of fell out of it for a while, and now I want to get back into it, and I figured, why not bring you guys along for the ride? Okay, press this button to read the signs. Mm. So if I want to come back and talk to you again, just walk up to you and press this button. I'd better get started now, Gary. I think that this is going to be a very long day. Explore Rest of SpongeBob's house. That's the first objective. Anyway, so, and, um, I keep forgetting to mention things, but I am, with the emulator that I'm using on my computer, I am actually using a proper, um, PlayStation 2 controller. I'm using a wireless PlayStation 2 controller. Oh, I forgot about that. The buttons are all messed up in the config. The button, yeah, the button configuration's all messed up. Yeah, I'll fix that, too. I do need to fix that, by the way. That is a problem. That is supposed to be a camera. Well... A note from Mr. Krabs! And it even smells sweaty, just like him. Ahoy there, SpongeBob! As a faithful crew member of the Krusty Krab, you've been, er, promoted, promoted to head shiny object collector. Promotion? I never heard about a promotion. Wow! A promotion! That's right! A promotion! So what this here new job entails is you collecting all these shiny objects that the robots are leaving behind and bringing them to me. Now stop seahorsing around and get busy collecting. Okay, yeah, and this it is gonna, shines. I'm sorry, the camera is going to be really weird to control this time around, but like I said, I think I've got the stuff set up, make myself a... um, wrong in the emulation software I'm using. I will, like I said, rest her. I will get that fixed. Um... This tells you how to use the cameras. I can't use the cameras because the right button, the right stick's not working correctly. Don't, no, don't mind that. If the stick works correctly in the controller, it's just software-wise, it's not set up correctly. I am going to wait to get the spatula, but I am going to go ahead and unlock this. I think it's only one. Yeah, it's only time to get into SpongeBob's room. We're going here. Maybe a little bounce on the old bed. So, SpongeBob's room is kind of a tutorial area. Oh, great, this is gonna be funny. SpongeBob will lose a pair of underwear every time he gets hit by a robot or touches dangerous objects or surfaces. Like this! When SpongeBob has lost all of his underwear, he must start that area over again. SpongeBob may get back underwear he has lost by collecting additional pairs along the way. SpongeBob starts out by wearing three pairs of underwear, but there are special pairs of golden underwear hidden in Bikini Bottom, which, if found, will allow SpongeBob to wear more than three pairs at a time. SpongeBob can check how many pairs of underwear he has on by pressing the R2 button. Like I said, mass tutorial level. Um, the best part is, I think you can actually kill Sponge something from doing it. Let's try it. And we'll go away, come back. No! I feel now. Let's try that again. No, see it won't actually kill him. I didn't think it did. Go into this library, which is actually one of the bigger parts. This actually tells you how to get. This is where I keep all my old up. comic books. That's gonna get annoying real fast. I'm not being able to turn the camera. That I think is having to do with the soft in this room, and maybe it'll be that I won't be able to. And maybe not be able to because. So this is telling me how to do all the combats, so like press the triangle button to do the bubble bash attack, which can be used to hit that stuff. 
Um, bubble slant, bubble bounce, attack, which is. And I've actually got. I'm actually used to get. I actually was used to I'm kind of rolling that off my fingers in a sense, like rolling it. I need to fix that. That's gonna be a little annoying. Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most Once satisfying. Push, push, like push, push. I've noticed you don't have to put these names, do you? It's best just to go ahead, just clutch on your effects anyway, because this will tell you, like, how many, how he's doing, like, in the areas. Um, yeah, you get the idea. It's a level. Is the ball gone now? Yeah, it is. I will go ahead and grab that. Because if I can get this done, that's one sock down already. And so socks in the game are Patrick socks. Um, they're one of the other collectibles in the game that you need to collect to actually progress. Well, not to progress, but they're like a they're like a side quest sort of thing. Don't deflate. Yeah, see, there's the sock. Ding, ding. I did, and I turned down the, um, I turned the music way down on this, too. I could probably turn it back up by now. Another find for Patrick! Right. I will go ahead and turn the music back up a little bit. So the music in this, I like the game soundtrack, I just said. Uh, it has got a pretty good soundtrack to it, so. Um, so, this is a golden spatula. Golden spatulas are needed to unlock new areas of Bikini Bottom. SpongeBob will need to collect many golden spatulas in order to find and defeat the source of the rampaging robot. This is how you actually progress. The game. And it'll freeze up every, it kind of freezes up every time you go and do that, because I've got saving. Yay, we're about to side find me. Now there's a cutscene out here that I'm just going to um be quiet for. <clears throat> ah, there's nothing like the sounds of your own neighborhood. Hmm. Go away, SpongeBob. You're polluting my thinking space. Trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get away with it! I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. Where did they come from? Where did they come from, Plankton? Where did they come from? Where? Um, I don't know. Not for me, though, that's for sure. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. <laughs> they even bent all my spoons. I love those spoons like they were my children. That's terrible. I didn't know he was baiting on him. Oh, won't you help me stop them before they bend all my forks? Not the forks. Of course I'll help. But wait, I'm supposed to collect a whole lot of golden spatulas. Golden spatulas, eh? SpongeBob, if you can get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas in your dreams. You've got a deal. Okay, so first off, you go to the Jellyfish Shields level. And start out with the game. But I think we'll so we'll start that off in the next episode. It's time. Where we'll go um, I'm kind of already seeing a decent time in recording. Actually, I think I have to cut out like an hour, like a minute or two of it. Um, so I'll go ahead and just talk to everyone. SpongeBob, this flapping robot crisis is making the Krusty Krab lose money like a sinking ship. No money means no more Krusty Krab. No more Krusty Krab means no more fry cooking for you. No more fry cooking? But because you're gullible, I'm gonna help you out. And of course make a small profit in return. I've got a few golden spatulas that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny objects. Because you're gullible, I'm gonna help you out. And of course, make a small profit in return. Remember that. You will? Of course. What are employers for? Besides, 
Them shiny objects is worth lots of money. Your treasure chest's looking a bit light, boy. Do you think I've got bilge water on the brain? I ain't running a charity here. Come back, Come back when you've got enough shiny objects to trade. Um, yeah, that's the idea of this. That's the idea of Mr. Krabs. He's basically like... So there's three ways you can get spatulas in the game. There is the normal route of getting like, actual spatulas from completing tasks in each of the levels, which there are quite a few. You can go all the way down. You, with Patrick, you have to collect... You have to bring back his socks, which you have to have ten socks to turn in every time. And then with Mr. Krabs, you have to bring in shiny objects, which it gets progressively more each time. Hey, SpongeBob! I just dropped by to give you a bubble hand! Bubble buddy! You see, you're going to need to learn some new bubble blowing moves if you're going to journey to the ninth dimension and defeat the giant monkey man! And so, um, Bubble Buddy acts as like sort of a helper for knowing how to do your various moves. I'm trying to think what all they do. Patrick's ba Patrick and Mr. Krabs are basically turn-in points, but Patrick's also a playable character. But, uh, all I need to do is figure out how to get rid of these robots. Oh, yeah, sorry. I've been in the soap bottle a little too long. Uh, where were we? Uh, something about new bubble moves. Right! Press this button, and you'll launch yourself straight up in the air with bubble power that defeats anything that is directly above you. Try it out! So yeah, I think I do this many, I really should have done that. Yeah. Actually, I made it a good video. And I can just do that. Okay. Um, so, and you'll notice these little pull booth things. These are, yeah, the end of this area. So you need actually 50 gold, you need, not 50, 15 golden spatulas to actually enter the next area of the game, which is, um, the other, which is the second half of the hub, well, the second out of three pieces of the hub world, which is the between the two bottom area is, is sort of a hub. Hey, Patrick, nice sock. <clears throat> what sock? The one you're standing on. Oh, that one. It's lost. Okay, he, he really is a big kind of dumb idiot, isn't he? For It's right there. Pick it up. Well, if that one's lost, where are your other socks? Well, they're more lost. A bunch of robots came through here and stole my whole sock collection. I could use some help getting them back. Sure thing, Patrick. What are best friends for? Okay, then. For every ten socks you bring back to me, I'll give you a golden turkey baster. You mean spatula? Bless you. Bless you. Okay, if I remember correctly, yeah, there's the golden pair of underwear up there. Uh, I'll get it. Second. Like second. I'm just gonna kind of use this episode to explore the main hub world a little bit and get kind of acquainted with this. I'm going to, because I'm mostly going to try and fix the issues that I'm having with my controller between episodes. Between the first and second episode. Um. It shines! Oh, I've, done, I've been able to do this kind of quickly as well. Uh, so that was the next do about camera movements. Let's see if I can do this correctly. this because this is a nightmare. PCSX2 config controllers plugin settings. It's gonna pause the game. Pad one. Why is that not doing what it's supposed to be doing? So right stick. Right analog stick left Oh, is it not? It's, an analog, it's not in an analog mode, okay. Delete selected. Let me delete these four selected ones. Now, theoretically, I could use something else to 
do it as well. Yeah, that's why, because it's not in, oh, crap, because um, it's not in analog mode. Apply, okay. And now, it's working, yes. You know, it helps to not be in the wrong mode, I would say. Okay, that's fixed now. Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Too, so. Push, 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 push. That's right. <laughs> I'm gonna try to stay fixed. Ah, I just messed up. Mm -hmm. Maybe I have a fun. Maybe. I've done this the last time. Nope. <laughs> Wait for this timer to cancel out and then go ahead and do this. And I guess I'll check, I guess also between the episodes I will check the audio levels to make sure the audio levels are doing this on. Oh, no, no, come back here! I've done this with the last time before, but this is I've not messed this up too many times in the past. Okay, I don't need to click about this. That's not the click about it, SpongeBob. Now I can wear four pairs of underwear. This is great! And now uh our second spatula? Yeah. Kinda of freezes up a little bit while it saves. I always notice that with this game, it freezes up just a tiny bit when it saves. We'll go into Stuart's house in a minute. Patrick's house is a good ship too. Good one. <sighs> Siblings, of course. Uh oh. Come on. Controller, why must you do this? Yeah, it's never gonna do it anyway. So having it in analog mode fixes the camera. Now I can't do that button. So I need to go ahead and fix that again. Config. Controllers. Plug in settings. Pad one. That would be why. Because there's no button now that is set to the square. I think is what it was. I'm missing. Yes, square. Okay. That's the third shot. I'm not going to hit that. I think that's way too much. Alright. Now I'll go to Squidward's house, and I'll probably end the video off going to, before I, uh, going to, like, field something. Maybe I won't. Maybe I won't. Say, maybe I'll stay here and we'll just go ahead and go to Jeff's for the next episode. Uh, we have time. I can just record the second episode right after this, too, I guess. First, those stupid robots ruined a perfectly relaxing mud bath this morning. And now you show up. Can my day get any more dreary? I am so sorry, Squidward. Patrick and I were just playing a game and... Oh, I correct myself. <laughs> I should have known that whole robot problem involved both of you. Squidward, I don't know what to do. How can I fix everything? Why don't you move to another town? That should help out more than enough. Ha, <laughs> ha, move to another town. I, I cracked me up. <laughs> but seriously, just jump around like an idiot. That should at least make me smile. <laughs> okay, an idea is I know, I know this thing. Hey! You get a sock for it. Okay, 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 just stop jumping, will you? If you take this golden spatula, will you please go away? 
See, Squidward? I knew that you could help me out. You're the best. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Oh no, maybe we'll keep her going. This will be like a long, one of the longer ones. Or not one of the longer ones. This will be a little bit longer episode. Because now that I've done all the stuff in the hub world that I can do up to this point, I'm trying to think. There's no more socks I have to collect. There's nothing else I need in this hub world I need to collect right now at this moment. Let's go to the shields. <laughs> get around by taxi, so. <clears throat> ah, the rolling green hills of Jellyfish Fields. A place to experience nature at its most raw, and sometimes a bit tender from the stings. Squidward, are you okay? No, I'm not okay, you barnacle head. Do I look like I'm okay? Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. And you look clammy. And oh my gosh, you're bald! Yes, he is bald. I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> King j j Jellyfish? Well, I guess you're off to scale Spork Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> I'll stay here, balled up here in excruciating pain. You do that. You do that! Don't worry, Squidward. I'll bring back that King Jellyfish Jelly for you to rub all over yourself. Uh, the one game I cannot wait for, either this year or whenever it comes out, is the remake of this game. I miss this game so much. And actually not, like, and actually having a proper, like, like, a proper, like, computer version of it, remake, like a proper remake version of this game. It in the works, and oh my goodness, I cannot wait for it, because it's been so great. Anyway, um, I will go ahead and be kind of quick about this, because... Actually, no, let's just take our time. Let's take our time. It shines! Um, probably won't cut a lot out of this. Yeah, probably won't cut a whole lot out of the episode. We can't jellyfish today! I'm going fishing for robots! Just for me. My size. Boing. And you can also swipe each other so they don't hurt you later on. Because the jellyfish are hurt. Okay. Hey, jerk. Do I risk it for, I risk it for the shiny object? Yes, yes, I do risk it for the shiny object. So the jellyfish will sting you, everyone. I don't know if you kind of, I guess, it's kind of like a sword. It's kind of like the same thing as a sword. If you ignore them too much, they will sting you. I'm not in the so. I'm probably sitting at about 31 minutes, so I don't know. Maybe I'll maybe I'll get up to the um maybe I'll get to a certain point and I'll call it a day this one. So yeah, I have return ten of Patrick's socks. I currently only have um five of them. So I'm just gonna bring up the menu. I have five stocks. I have three spatulas. I'm just gonna try objects to have this done. <clears throat> going farther than I'm going. This is a checkpoint. If you're defeated after activating a checkpoint, you'll restart a checkpoint instead of the beginning of the area. Very useful in some cases. In some occasions it can become very useful. I 
so I'm gonna go ahead and destroy a bunch of robots, destroy a bunch of tiki's because I already need shiny objects anyway. Might as well get them. Aha, you like to die. It's like you can never run. You can never run. Oh, I have not done that. Just hold on. Oh, hang on a second. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, everyone, I am back. Mind you, I. Okay. Okay. It's a couple hours after um, I had to sleep. But, but for you guys, it'll be no time at all. And of course, I'm going to my analog mode. And then whatever. I'll get hurt my game so much. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get the one special I'm thinking of, and then I will go ahead and get all the new guns in there. Um, I love the detection engine in the robots, they're just hilariously short. The detection engine is hilariously short. Let's get this soft one at it. Might as well, it's an easy soft to get. Oh, don't jump off, I know. That would be a very bad idea. <clears throat> now, I just love how this, how in this game, like the first few levels, you struggle to get shiny objects a lot of time. In hindsight, that was not a good idea. Oh, don't jump off in the goo. I mean, I'm just gonna have to move up right there. Okay, and stop. Too pretty. <clears throat> Can't really like take it! Ugh, today's been a weird day. So the, so the last so the last batch I'll get tonight is just like the first one is when the thing will be done. I bet I'll finish it after wells and it'll be done. Not that I need to go to bed anytime soon, but sleep's always a fun thing. Wait, these things are not going to be done. These things will launch you. I, I remember I used to play this thing as a kid and I got launched on those and I got launched for the pool. Hey Gary, what's yep. shaking? Wow! Wow! A bungee jump for a, a golden, golden spatula. spatula! I must be in heaven! <laughs> uh, I love this game so much, and you'll see why in a second. <clears throat> this is a bungee hook. SpongeBob can bungee from it. The bungee from the bungee hook, just jump up and touch it. To dive downwards, press the X button. To exit the bungee hook, press the triangle button. Now just watch, because this is one of my favorite things about this game. Oh, wedgie experience! He's giving SpongeBob a wedgie. <laughs> Ooh. Sounds like you're hurt, too. <clears throat> Anyway guys, so I think I will call it there. So, in the next episode guys, we will hopefully finish up the Jellyfish Fields level. If not, we'll go through more of it. Okay. But if you guys did enjoy this video and would like to see more videos like this, then please be sure to drop a like. And if you guys aren't already, be sure to subscribe and boop the bell to be notified of future uploads. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everyone.